Hello the internet, this is an iPad Pro 9.7 inch unboxing and review. Now before you all get shirty, I know that what you're looking at right now is an iPad 4th generation and you know it's an iPad 4th generation because you're not stupid. This, my friends, if you can see it there, is an iPad Pro and what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the iPad 4th generation and the iPad Pro, if I can open it, that is. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's the difference between this review and another review, say? Well, quite a couple of things, really. One, my Northern England dulcet tones. And for two, this is in my living room and it's gonna be awesome. So, okay, so I have cheated a little bit because I've actually opened this previously and I've preloaded it with my iCloud. So, you can see that they're both there and they both have things on them. That's my old iPad with my reminders and this is my new one. So, comes in a cellophane wrapper, comes with all the usual gubbins and whatnot. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so first thing to notice, as you can see, is the difference in size. Difference in weight, the iPad Pro is considerably lighter than the um, fourth generation. I just pop them next to each other. Now, what I've also done is I've also, and it will appear on screen in a minute, done a comparison of all the different iPads so you can see the difference between them. So, iPad 4th generation, oh, you see them, and my shadow there, and iPad Pro 4. Okay, so we'll get into the review, check back in a minute, and um, I'll let you know what I think. Okay, welcome back. So let's um, have a look at the display. So I'm not sure if you can tell from where you are because they look pretty similar to me, but the iPad Pro is definitely richer in color. It's a little bit smoother and it's got the new, I don't even know what they call it, the new screen, but it's supposed to adapt to the light conditions of the room that you're in. Whereas the iPad fourth generation doesn't. Okay, so you can clearly see on the camera that the iPad Pro, which is this one obviously, is a, uh, a very different colour to the fourth generation. It's also a lot lighter, it's a slightly smaller shape and uh, yep, games just look great. They look crisp, they look sharper. Um, I didn't really realise that the fourth generation has a little bit of a fuzz around the edge until you see it next to the new one, you don't really realise. Um, yeah, so just pop it down there. So uh, let's have a look. What else do we have on here? Uh, let's go to the internet. So yeah, again, you can see that um, I've been Googling the fourth generation just for you to have a look at there and just updating my web hosting. So you, again, you can see the colors are this is much duller, not as vibrant. 
So in all honesty, um, I think the iPad Pro is a little bit dearer. This one is the 128 gig and it costs 619 pounds. I don't know what that is in dollars. And this one is the 64 gig and when I bought that, it was 580 pounds. So it is dearer, but in comparison, when you consider you're getting double the amount of storage, it's, um, it's comparable, it's not actually that much dearer. Um, now, I'm, I'm, all the reviews I've read say that the iPad Pro is designed much more as a graphics tablet and it's much better with the pen. I don't have the pen or the graphics tablet. Um, I'm not a graphic designer, so I don't know about that. Um, obviously, the, the um, iPad Pro has all the multi-touch and the multitasking, whereas the fourth generation doesn't. So, yeah, so I think if you're in the market for a, a new iPad, then the iPad Pro is the way to go. I honestly, um, I don't know if it's, if it's that much better than the fourth generation, which means it's probably, probably not that much better than the iPad Air 2. Um, so I think, you know, my opinion is if, if you've got plenty, plenty of dollars to spend or, you know, go buy the Pro, why wouldn't you? If budget's a little bit tight, I think you go get the fourth generation or newer that has the, the lightning connector. Um, I don't think you'd be disappointed. Um, they've got exactly the same software. I've had a quick play off camera and I can't see any noticeable difference in speed or power. Um, so yeah, so I hope this has been useful. I'm not sure if it has, but I just wanted to um, share my thoughts with you really. Um, Thanks, guys. Have a, have a great week.